In the previous video, we discussed about the SRP pathway of protein transport to thylakoid. And if you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description or you can find it in the i button. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the pH dependent pathway of transporting proteins to thylakoid. First of all, we see why it's called pH dependent pathway. It is because this process is powered by electrochemical gradient, which is maintained across the thylakoid membrane. Now let's get to the pathway. Just like in the previous pathway, we have here same tick and talk complex of inner and outer membrane respectively, shown in the diagram. Then onto the thylakoid membrane, we have the translocon, which is composed of several proteins. Now the protein to be transported to the thylakoid lumen is the precursor of metal binding protein. This precursor protein has got N-terminal stromal import sequence and in the middle of protein we have the thylakoid targeting sequence. First of all, the N-terminal import sequence directs the protein through TOC and TIC complex, which takes the protein into the stroma, as shown in the diagram. So now we have protein transported into stroma. And here first of all, the N-terminal stromal sequence is cleaved off, as shown in the animation. Now we see here the thylakoid targeting sequence is exposed and this thylakoid targeting sequence has two arginine residues attached at the end shown as RR. These arginine residues are crucial for recognition. Bacterial cells use the same mechanism of translocating proteins known as TAT pathway, TAD pathway, which is twin arginine translocation pathway. So for this pathway, we need two arginine residues RR at the end terminus of thylakoid targeting sequence. And we also need pH gradient across the membrane. In the next step, the cofactors in the form of metal ions are added to the metal binding protein as shown in the diagram. And it must be noted here that the metal binding precursor protein folds in the stroma to accommodate the metal ions in its structure. Then ultimately the metal binding protein gets through the translocon present on the thylakoid membrane and directs the protein into the lumen of thylakoid. And here in the lumen first of all the thylakoid targeting sequence is cleaved off as shown in the diagram. And finally we get the mature metal binding protein in thylakoid lumen. So this is how pH dependent pathway works in transporting proteins into thylakoid. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.